Y'all tune in to Real Life Street Stars and make sure you go get that app off of Google Play. Download it now. Life Street Stars, we in here with two eyes. What it is, man? What's going on? What's going on? Man, for the people who don't know, you've been living under a rock, man. Tell them about yourself and how long you've been doing music. Um, I've probably been doing music all my life. Um, I mean, like, music is just part of my life, you know what I mean? But I got shot not too long ago and took it serious. Right. So it took me to a whole nother vibe with it, a whole nother level. Where'd you get shot? I got shot in the head. It came out of my eye. My car got hit 40 some times. Five people in the car, I'm the only one got hit. Now, 40 sometimes? 40 sometimes and three in the gas tank. So, so you, it's a blessing to be here. Oh, yeah, it is. I believe. How did you move after that happened to you? How does that change how you move and how you live? I mean, like, it made me aggressive. Like, it made me a savage, but at the same time, it, it made me think. It made me positive. It made me start, ah, uh, before I do this, I need to think. Ah, uh, before I hang around him, I need to think. It just made me think about it a lot before I start going into situations. Damn, bro, like, um... You know what I'm saying? Recover from something like that, man. Did it bring you closer to God at any point? Or did it make you question, you know what I'm saying? Like, why me? I mean, like, you don't supposed to question God. I, I believe in it. I got questions. It, I mean, I always been close to God. I, I believe, you know what I mean? And God, I go to church. I grew up in church. I play drums. So I play drums all my life. So I grew up in church. The church is part of my life. So, I believe in God. It's just, I question at the same time. Like, right. five people in the car. I'm the only one got hit, 40 some bullets. Nobody got touched. Nah. What's yeah. going on? Yeah, man. So, how does that, how does that make your music? I think like it make my it make my music like painful. Yeah. Like I'm I'm more like all in my feelings when I get on the track or sometimes I get on the track and make me cry because of the stuff I talk about. It's just I got three brothers dead. My dad had gone too. Then I get shot. The girl I was just talking to. When I woke up, she didn't wake up. Like, I'm dealing with all this. So, is it hard to still want to do music with all that you've been through and all that you've seen? It is very hard. I ain't going to say it ain't. It's very hard. It really makes me want to stop because I feel like why do it yeah. like everything that i'm going through most people don't go through i'm not saying that it's some big eyes a big user somebody got more problems than me or i got more problems than, nah, i'm not saying it i'm just saying like my pain though run deep like and it's like the people i love the most be the ones that lead though right we're gonna ask you one more question then we're gonna shift to some music because uh do have you been here with the because you know everybody makes things out of a gimmick and i know you didn't already got the freddy wop the fatty wop bullshit and knowing that your shit comes from a real place does that does that aggravate you any i mean like 
it do, but at the same time, like my homeboys, like they, we from Memphis, so it's like yeah. we don't do nothing but chick. So it's like all this feather wop, man. You look like dope, B, brother. You all that. It's like oh, I'm from that city. Well, we don't do nothing but chick. Right. You can hit me with that right now, but I'm telling you, I might check you all day. I might not stop. Yeah. That's what we do, though. I think it's, I look at it like I'm blessed to be here. But, like, most people wouldn't even talk to me because they scared. Right. So I feel like if, if you feel like talking to me, if you feel that comfortable, oh, we're going to have fun. Like, I ain't know. I ain't that type of person who gonna brush you off or make you feel uncomfortable if you check me or say something to me because I walk around little kids all the time and they be like, they go a pirate. Right. So I, a lot of this stuff just, I, ain't, I don't look at it no certain way. So tell us what you're working on right now. What projects you got going? Um, We working on some applying pressure right now, 2017. I just had something to drop um to last like couple months of 2016 with snooty um but we working on this applying pressure right now and we got some people on that junk Ooh. How, uh, how did that single with snooty wild come about <clears throat> i mean like this big brother i mean like he met with me i met with him we you know it's family so we're gonna keep it family like we rocking. This is how we rocking. So, with the Memphis scene popping right now, with the Dolphs and the Money Bag Yo's and the and the uh, youngsters, is it easier now or is it harder? I mean, like, I grew up with all of them. Right. Like, because Memphis ain't but that big, right? Yeah, it, I'm from the I'm from South Memphis. I'm 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 from South Memphis, so. It it ain't I don't look at nobody better than me. I don't, I grind. They grind. They got what they needed to be. I might I don't want to sign with nobody. I don't I like to grind my way. I like I'm my own boss. You know what I mean? Who is the king of Memphis? I mean <laughs> I heard it was Craig Pattis. I mean like <laughs> I I I'ma keep you one hundred, man. I'm from Memphis, man. Yo got it. I'm gonna keep it 100. You got it. You know I'm gonna keep it 100, man. You know I fuck with CMG tough. You know what I mean, can't commit for do what it is. Um, how did you? So how did you get to Dallas? I mean, like I fly here, there, be here, there, go here, there. I have a lot of features. I do shows a lot too. So Big Brother might call me here, or I need to be there. Same time he doing him and work on, you know. So we all doing our thing. So um, the flavor in Memphis is a little bit different from the flavor in Dallas. Uh, when you be in Dallas, do you like it more or feel like home or do you just be ready to get back to your city? Uh, me, honestly, I mean, I love my city. Yeah. I mean, like Dallas, I, I fuck with them tough. They fuck with me. I mean, like. The way they come, they like me. I I talk different to people too, cause I'm from Memphis. They gonna say I got an accent. So me here and them, they got an accent to me. I just feel like it's a one hell of a combination. Man, so let, let's go ahead and settle this debate, man. Uh, Memphis barbecue or Texas barbecue? Oh, what? <laughs> Uh, I'm from Memphis. In the back, she I'm, felt disrespectful. I'm fucking with Memphis shit all, all the right. way. I heard, I'm from I, the city where we started this shit. You know, I heard it like when you eat some Memphis barbecue, you just make this Dallas shit taste. Might Texas make you want to like slap you. your mama. You seen that shit? <laughs> Donkey donuts and shit. You seen all that <laughs> shit? Fly her, fly her. Make nigga want to slap that woman for real. Hey, and then and while we at uh, Memphis versus Dallas, man, let's go ahead and debate the strip clubs. I heard it's live out there, man. I heard it's live. What's the difference? Um, I heard they call them shake joints. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, I fuck with our scribbles in Memphis, you know what I mean? But I fuck with y'all scribbles too. I mean, I, I just fuck with them tough. I mean, like, we got prayer passion. We got, you know, we got Black Orchid. 
We got we got a lot of strip clubs out there. You know what I mean? Which one are you gonna win at though? I mean, I don't know. If your ass don't want to die, don't right. go to my city. Right? Fuck all Fuck that. winning. If you don't want, Fuck if you want to live, that shit. <laughs> man, that where I'm from. Man, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, I done yeah. seen Fur Four Day. Yeah, I heard they got to the, you get set up real. What? <laughs> that shit ain't just on YouTube for nothing. Right. That shit don't play on TV for that shit for real. For real. What's, what's the craziest shit that you've seen in Memphis? The craziest shit I've seen in Memphis. Me leaving the movies. Like. I'm with my family. We having a good time. You know, you go to the movies and have a good time. You with your family. We have a good time. But, you know, we from here for my brother Chicken. Like, this is a crazy moment because I'm with little kids and all. We done got into it. Make a long story short, we hit the interstate. Uh, niggas just start shooting at the car. I'm talking about, I had to be a NASCAR driver right then and there. I had to go in and be 007 and shit. You know, when it kick, you got to go right in. Oh, what they hit. was you listening to when you was getting away? Yo, got it. <laughs> I'm a street nigga, man. Yeah. I'm a street nigga, man. So in the DFW, um, you know, it's a uh, big issue with artists. We have a problem with unity in our city. Um, in Memphis, is it the same way? Or do niggas, you know, can niggas come together to get some money? Uh, I mean, like, where, where, I feel like wherever city you went, they gon' everybody say they city hate. Everybody say they city. Like, I hear a lot of people saying they city, my niggas in our city don't want to do this, or they don't want to work together. I said it like that, too. Like, I said like that too. They about their money. Like niggas about their money now. 2017. Right. You ain't talking about no money. Nigga ass ain't working with you, bro. That shit. Nigga got a, a family to feed. Every time. Do you think you need unity in the world of social media where you can break yourself really? Yeah. I do. I do. So how did the rap name Two Eyes come about? Cause I wanna, I'm, I wanna say, and I don't know you, but I wanna say that wasn't your rap name, or was it before you got shot? Nah, before I got shot, that wasn't my rap name. Like, like I wasn't even rapping. I was in the streets tough before I got shot. Like, I was in the streets tough. But when I got shot, I'm chilling, and my nigga them were like, bro, um, bro, you need new name. You need to go, you ain't got nothing to do, fool. Them folks trying to put you on disability. I told my mom I would not do that shit. So my nigga was like, bro, you need to do something like rapping or something. I was like, all right, for sure what? He like, bro, you need to, bro, you need one eye, some eye shit, some some double O seven shit, some three eye from, bro, that shit be cold. You call yourself two eye like, oh, hold on, I'm going to call myself two eyes, fool. You know why? He was like, why you pick that out of everything? I said, because shit, I was born with two eyes. Right. Who's to say I ain't got two eyes if I don't show what's under my patch? So you got to fucking look me up to right. find out what the fuck going on with me. Right. Real shit. <laughs> Man, so like uh, somebody listening to this interview wanted to, you know, get into a two-eyed song. What's what's like the first three songs you would tell them to hit up? Uh, you can go look up there perfect with Snooty. You gonna look, you can go look <clears throat> you can go look up that thankful. I just dropped that just not too long ago and uh I got some stuff popping in Nashville with my uh my boy and them down there. Um uh, keep a weapon. Yeah. Oh, this shit going live. This yeah. shit everywhere. You can Google me. I pop up. That's what's up. So like um who do you look do you look forward to working with anybody in the industry? And if so, who? <clears throat> I mean, I heard Kevin Gay say this one time. I'm going to work with another rapper. What they going to do for me that I can't do for myself? So I just feel like it's grind time. 
when will you feel like you've hit that uh I made it point? What's that big thing for you that's gonna let you know that you you hit it? When I don't see my mama cry no more. Shit, that's kinda damn <laughs> Mama cry about everything. That's just deep. Um, what drug do you think Soldier Boy is on right now? <laughs> I was gonna say it, but you know, I, I'm a real nigga, man. I just feel like they need to get out the internet, man, meet up, man, like Little Scrappy said. Yeah. Man, y'all got money, bro. Y'all can meet up anywhere in the city. Go on, meet up, y'all go on, throw them hands and get this shit over with. Taking Soldier Boy or Chris Brown? Myself. Right. For the money. Yep. Fuck all that. Put me in the ring. For the money. Right. Shit. Fight I them both. I got you. And I, fight a bear. For the for the money. I swear to God, put me in the ring. I'm from Seven and when we grew up throwing hands. I grew up boxing for the police station. We do this shit all day. This is my life. I'ma go and say that nigga on some coke. Damn, I don't want to say it. <laughs> I'm going to just go and say it. You I, don't, I, don't, say I, don't, it. I don't even want you to say it. I'm going to say it. Coke. You see that nigga lips, bro? Hey, big soldier. I fuck with you because I got a pink gun. And my John don't shoot you or you or you. Or it don't shoot Skittles or nothing. But look, hey, it shoot hollow, fool. But I fuck with the, niggas, you know, niggas I fuck to shit with the color that guns and shit. Niggas tried to shit on him about that purple gun. That his shit hit too. I mean, <laughs> shit. You can you can play with that motherfucker, Work purple gun. Hit with it. <laughs> so you hit your ass with that motherfucker. Hey, d does it surprise you a little bit that niggas is jumping on interviews, damn near incriminating themselves? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like niggas is telling murder stories. Like, yeah, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna hit your ass with the little wine ASAP. I don't recall. <laughs> I don't recall. That shit. Every question. I, I'm. I don't recall. So if anybody came at you on some internet beef shit, how would you handle it? Like, it's about some money. <laughs> it gotta be about the money we beefing. Like, all right, I might play with you just to bullshit around. I'm gonna be real. Me being me, like first time I hear a nigga say something, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm play with you for real for about a week or two. I'm gonna play with you. But then again, at the same time, that shit gonna die down on me. Cause if you don't see me or I don't see you in the next week or two, I'm I'm by my bed in it, bro. You gotta see me when you see me. But when you see me though, just know, don't freeze up. This shit you were just talking though. I need you to get right back to that 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 beef shit you were doing on. I need you to uh, I need you to jump right back to that mode when you see me though. Cause I'm, when I see you. I'm already in that mode. You think OJ did it? <laughs> you said what? <laughs> you think OJ did it? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what was your New Year's resolution? Every day wake up to the money when I get up. Is money that important to you? It ain't the money that's important to me. It just, the world just revolve around money. Yeah, one of my partners told me, he said, money ain't everything. I said, you right, it's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, for real, nigga. I gotta get up and get to it. He ain't lying, though. But I'm just, you know what I mean? Hey, um, you know what I'm saying? You got a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying, in the house. One of three drugs. You got Kush, XO, or the Henny. Which one you gonna grab? Is Henny a drug now? Yeah, it's a drug. Yeah, it's a drug now. <laughs> you can only choose one to hit her with. You said, what I got? What, you got what? Henny, you got the Kush, and you got the XO. What's the XO? XT, peel. I'm a young nigga, I don't need no Viagra or nothing, but I'm gonna pop the X though, just to, you know what I mean. We gonna turn up in that bit. I ain't finna even play. I ain't finna lie like I ain't. Fuck the Kush. Fuck that. I got natural high in me. 
I'm gonna pop the X so we can turn up. I like to break you a piece of that motherfucker. Straight up, crush it up in something. Come on, uh, you, you been watching pop, pop <laughs> yeah, put the X out, yeah, all that, you know. All right. My Tell us how you came up with the name Applying Pressure. I just feel like applying mean like focus. Like I'm, I'm focused. Pressure mean like I ain't letting up though. Like I ain't finna let up. How important is it to you to, f- to focus on your craft and hone your skills? Every day, I feel like I need to do that every day, every second. Like I don't give a damn what I'm doing. I work on my voice 24/7. I don't need number three things in the studio, and I'm through. What are those three things? I need an engineer. I need some lemon juice, and I need a scrap. Man, that strap, man. Gotta have this. Uh... Yeah, you know that motherfucker part of my outfit. <laughs> When did we get to the days when motherfuckers just don't feel safe? Like even on the TV now, like you, you need to pack your weapon. Like they they <laughs> it's, they letting you know it's like. What, remember the days when you could just go out. The kids don't even be outside no fucking more. <laughs> Shit crazy now. Like go to the playground, no kids, nothing. That mindset went to the playground, <laughs> no kids, no nothing. Man, oh, uh, <laughs> what was you doing when Trump got elected? Praying that Trump didn't. <laughs> I wasn't watching this shit. I don't vote. Does that shit do you? Does that even bother you? Does you give a fuck about it? Nah. No. We had this question that we asked. Um, say you pay for a beat, right? And uh, you blow up off the beat. And uh, do you feel it's necessary to cut the extra the producer some extra money if you didn't already pay for it? Versus if he gave it to you on GP. Like let's say you was just working with somebody, you y'all got a natural, uh, y'all y'all connect, and he taught you a beat, and you blew up off of it, versus if you paid for it. Yeah. Cause I'm I be feeling like nigga. I mean, like most niggas feel like they wouldn't do it. Right. But I just feel like if that's my engineer, I'm gonna make sure you scrape, bro. Right. You, hey, I don't give a damn. Hey, you out of everybody, you, you gonna be scraped. Your ass ain't gonna have no sweats. Is it hard to find a good engineer? Nah, it ain't hard. You just gotta find somebody who's willing to work. Like most engineers get tired sometimes. Some some engineers twenty four hours with it. They can they can stay up twenty four hours and non stop. They back to back. So since you got the patch. Have you pulled more hoes or less hoes? Yeah, I pulled more. Yeah. I already knew, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled more. Shit crazy. Now you got me on the. I, I don't know. Get it. I, don't I don't know wanna... how. I, I really don't know how. Bro, you look mysterious in the motherfucker. Like, like my gonna... nigga, no. Like, I even. Snooter, I even got a picture with him. They can go look it up. He even wearing a patch right beside me. Said, bro, I'm finna shoot my video with this motherfucker. Right. We go out. Before we can even get in the club, them folk like, hey, who a dude? Yeah, you look like you get in I free. be trying to ignore that shit like, I'll, let me get through that motherfucker. You know what I mean? No, nah, you got me one put one. I don't want to get it how you got it. You nah. earned yours. I shit, I just want to. <laughs> I even got like I even got pictures of little kids. Right. I even got them wearing a patch. Like they even play with it. Like I got pictures of little kids. I got even girls playing. They even wear patches. Like through the day, they be like two hours. I put the patch on the day. I told my job I had the pink eye. How did you look? I be posting them on my Instagram and everything. That's real shit. How does that make you feel when you see like support like that? They fuck with me. I fuck with them. Just made me feel like I, I ain't got no more. F- I I don't really call them fans. I call them family. That's what's up. What's the fakest shit that ever happened to you in this music game? The fakest shit that ever happened. What? You said the fakest shit. shit that ever did or in the music game. 
in the in the music game, what's the fucking shit? Um, I mean, like, I, I nigga ain't too much did no face shit to me. I mean, like everybody I work with, anything we do, we keep that shit one hundred. Just keep it G with me. That's all I ask of you. What would you say is the most positive thing? Everything we do positive. Like, I ain't around nobody who negative. Like, if you, I even told my girl, that, like, if you negative, I can't, you need to stay at home today. Right. Today, stay your ass at home because you negative. And I'm trying to kick around these positive folks. They be getting money today and shit. And you negative all in my ear, you going to be stopping some money and yeah. stuff. Don't, don't bring your ass with me today. Stay you your it. ass at home. You got your African American yeah. female. Ah, you know. <laughs> ah, you know. Strong what? Black you, what? You know it. it. You got you got any shout outs? Um, God first. My mom man. Hey, um rest in peace, Keish. Um Harmony for brain nigga to the motherfucker, you know my gas. She she do a lot for a nigga. She keep a nigga in there, motherfucker. I mean, my young nigga, they keep a nigga. Like, my brother now. Like, my B.O.A. Like, my, I fuck with the hood. You know, South Memphis, Memphis, period, you know. I shout out my city. I ain't forget nobody, because, you know what I mean? They fuck with me, I fuck with them. They already know what's up. And for the people who want to get in touch with you, maybe for a feature or a book you for a show, how would they get in contact with you? You can go on my Instagram or my Facebook. Um, my Facebook two eyes. Mama said. Um, my Instagram two eyes. Um, I got a Twitter and all that two eyes too. Everything two eyes. Um, I spell it with the numbers I I E Y E S. You know, everything everything. So you can find me anywhere. You can Google it. It's easy. You can go on YouTube or anything. You can find me through Snooty page. It don't matter. You can find me, goddamn, if you use the goddamn internet. One, two eyes, man. We salute you. We love everything you're doing, man. When you drop your project, come back. We fucking with it. We gonna show the world, man. You are a real life street star, man. My fuck with y'all too. Real life street star.